Bruised and beaten, you'd think whoever did this to that young man would be in trouble, but instead, that young man is the one in jail. A father beat up the 18-year-old when he found him sexually abusing his young son. Fox's Kelly Joyce reports. This is what one father did to a man accused of sexually attacking his son. That Daytona father called 911 early this morning after the beating. I just walked in and found a grown man molesting and I got him in a bloody puddle for you right now, officer. The 35-year-old father tells the 911 operator he just left for a little while, and when he came back, he says he thought he heard something in a back bedroom. I looked away, and I said, what's going on? And he stood up, and his pants fell around his ankles. I knew what was going on, and I did what I had a right to, except I didn't kill him. Police showed up to find 18-year-old Raymond Frolander unconscious on the floor. He went to the hospital, then was taken to the jail and faced a judge today. Police Chief Mike Chitwood says Frolander admitted to sexually battering the boy for the past three years. You think to yourself, here's a young man whose innocence was taken away from him. You know, eight, eight to 11-year-olds should be outside riding their bike and playing sports and playing video games, not, you know, cowering and being in fear. Police say the father will not face any charges for the beating because he was protecting his son as a crime was being committed. I think the father did what any father wanted to do. The judge today gave Frolander no bond on the sexual battery charges and we learned he just turned 18 last month. In Volusia County, Kelly Joyce, Fox 13 News.